I'm Andy Beningo, and I'm a stand-up comedian. I've been to some pretty cool places, and I've worked with some pretty cool people. This is my life on the road. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of On the Road with Andy Beningo, and I'm just sort of recapping some shows that I did a couple months ago with my very good friend, Tim Steele. It was an exciting experience because it was Tim's first time ever on the road. Going on the road for the very first time is exciting. You figure like everything's gonna be amazing. Like I can't believe it. They're probably gonna put me up in the Four Seasons Hotel. I'm gonna be eating lobster. And then you realize, oh, the road is staying in a Motel 6 and eating McDonald's every weekend. But we had a good time. We had a great experience for sure. We did five shows and five nights in four different cities. We started in Kentucky. We drove over to Ohio. And then we finished the tour in Indiana. It was fun watching Tim get excited. It was fun watching Tim get a little bit nervous about the shows, but every single show that we did on the road this week, he absolutely killed. Tim Steele is a Michigan comedian who's been performing in club and church events for the past five years. We actually met a few years ago performing on his Bald is Beautiful church tour alongside comedian Larry Allen. I've always been impressed with his great writing, and we instantly became good friends. I was thrilled to be able to get him some shows outside of Michigan, and his enthusiasm reminded me of when I first started working the road. I remember my very first road gig. It was actually when I was in college. Uh, I got an opportunity to perform way up in Tawas, Michigan. I think I was 23 years old and I was so excited. And uh, I actually remember skipping a night college class to make the show. Needless to say, my dad was not too happy about that. It was great. I actually drove up with my uh, best friend, Greg Amaros, who was on the show and was uh, attending Central Michigan University with me at the time. And we opened for a very funny comedian named Chris Young, who uh, became one of my best friends over the years. You may recognize Chris from his dry bar comedy special, which is quickly becoming a viral sensation. Our first stop on the road trip was in Lexington, Kentucky, where we performed at the Cat's Den on the campus of the University of Kentucky. Despite being nervous over the age difference, Tim's material went over great, and the students at U of K loved him. It was a great way to start the road trip. Our next shows were way up in Greenwood, Indiana, where we performed at the brand new Gutty's Comedy Club. Gutty's Comedy Club is one of the most unique comedy clubs in the country in that they specialize in clean, family-friendly comedy. The club just opened in 2019, and it's not uncommon to see the 150-seat showroom completely packed on a Friday or Saturday night. The club even has a podcast studio. The owners of the club, Dennis Tooley and Steve Rivera, are great people, and once again, Tim brought the heat. He can be a tough guy to follow when he's on. The final show of the weekend was in Madison, Indiana, where we performed at the North Madison Community Church. I love this. This is just small town, middle America, right here. That is my favorite sound in the entire world. Just that backstage crowd murmur. It's gonna be a fun night for sure. All right, man, so you have seen him on Drive, on Comedy, and on Comedy Central, and Series X and Radio. Would you all do me a big favor and give a big, massive round of applause to Mr. Andy Bonito. Thanks, dude. Have fun, brother. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much! I really had a good time performing at the church, and the crowd was absolutely electric. Thank you very much! Thank you! Thanks, everybody! 
show at North Madison Christian Church was the perfect way to end a great road trip. Over the last 14 years, I've been very, very lucky to be a professional comedian. Every week, I've been able to travel on the road and get to see a lot of different parts of the country, a lot of different parts of the world. I've got an opportunity to work with a lot of great comedians. Uh, due to uh, world events, uh, I unfortunately won't be traveling as much, which means I won't be able to do this show. But I wanted to thank you guys uh, for tuning in, and hopefully you guys have had some laughs, and hopefully you guys have had some fun with the show, and hopefully you've had as much fun as I have had. Um, and hopefully whenever it is things go back to normal uh, hopefully you guys will be able to tune in and see what I'm up to on the road thanks again so much for tuning in stay safe out there and hopefully we'll see you guys again soon